Well, all right, all right, all right. And welcome back to another exciting episode of the Planet Gen X podcast. I'm Sean. That over there is Brian. What's up, everybody? Yeah, man. And back again is our buddy, Joel. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, what's up, man? You doing all right? Uh, busy, but yeah. <laughs> doing yeah, good. right on, right on. Understood. Well, here we are, guys, back again. It's another week and another episode of The Acolyte has dropped. And, uh, you know, nothing new, nothing's changed, nothing for the better. Uh, I might have a little better, I mean, like more positive things to say about it maybe in this episode, but, you know, we'll see what happens. But before we get (laughs) to that, guys, please remember to hit that like button. Leave us uh, uh, a subscribe, hit the subscribe, you know. Yeah, definitely. Leave us a comment. (laughs) Uh, you know, it's free. It costs you nothing. It helps us out a lot, guys. So thank you so much for doing that. We really do appreciate it. Much appreciated. So, yeah, back again for the Acolyte. And um, again, I want to say for me, if it was in the hands of anybody better, I would be so interested at least in what the heck is going on with the master and that right. story. Like, I am actually curious about him and 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 how that could have been done like say in the hands of the production of house of the dragon for example if they had handled this how it might have been and i see i see these little tiny seeds these little little seeds of of good ideas but they're so small well, I mean, it's the same thing we've been dealing with with this new era of the IP, right? I mean, they commit a lot of sins with, you know, stuff we wanted to like book a Boba Fett, right? Yeah. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Like, I, they should have expanded that so much more. And like any of these that they they wanted to do whatever with and decided to do a series with, they should have committed to the series, right? Yeah. They should have given us at least two series of everything and three if there was enough in the can for it. Right on. What killed it for me with Boba Fett, though, man, the book of Boba Fett was uh, basically Boba Fett. I mean, dude, right. it was a little rough, man. You get uh, CG me, C, CG some a six pack or some or, or, or take a little fluff off, man. That, that was a little rough for me, I have to say. I don't know. I was good to see an aged actor come back to the role, and it was kind of a callback to, to one of the the main protagonist we see these days, which is the the older, generally more conservative, more violent type of guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that poor show, man. It could have been so much better. Yeah. But we leave our buddy Joel quiet as we eagerly await what he possibly could have gotten us for this episode. Um, I, for one, have questions about certain things like, you know, the the island, the unknown planet. You know, it didn't seem unknown. It seemed very familiar. But again, I don't know because I thought Plo Koon seemed very familiar too. I we'll get I, into all that. Yeah, yeah. I, I covered the planet just for you. I knew you were going right. to ask that question. I covered the planet for you. You knew awesome. what to expect. Awesome. Can we throw it to Joel? Is it time? I would love to throw it to Joel. Joel, <laughs> what you got for us, man? Give us yeah. the skinny. Well, okay. So uh, I got to do the correct corrections addendum location budget if I have it. So I I don't have budget this time, but uh, here's what I got. Uh, Obviously, we got a cortosis confirmation from last time. So what we were guessing at and what they were telling us has now been confirmed in the in the episode, as well as. Of course, in a magazine article after the episode comes out. Oh, oh of course it has. Congrats, nerds. Right, right, right. So yeah, it is give you the win for that one, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then um, the helmet. Oh, my God. The helmet. And I, helmet. Wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know much about the helmet, but they give us, and this is going to sound weird, but they retconned themselves, which nobody's talking about. They retconned their their own script from the prior episode where it had Magneto blocking type powers. Right, right, uh, right. Now, it's a little less confusing. Uh, I was like, well, we're, what, if it's not Magneto's helmet, then, then whose helmet is it? It's it's Daredevil's. Because uh, I, I really doubt Leslie has. Sensory. Yeah, yeah. I, I really yeah. doubt Leslie has has ever watched, like, uh, episode one through six at this point. Uh, I really do. I'm having problems. I bet she's seen scenes here and there, but I bet 
helmet. I, I bet she did not watch it and doesn't understand one of those helmets at all. Or one of her writers doesn't understand it at all. I can't tell. I, I, I really can't tell. But they basically retconned their own script from the prior episode, which is insane. I've got more to say on the helmet. We can do it. We can talk about it now. We can wait till it comes up. But, you know, we kind of need to figure out where we're going here. Are we going to do spills or are we going to talk as we go? Uh, I mean, I, I just brought the helmet up. So you want to yeah, talk I, about, I, the I, I helmet, talk about it now? <laughs> yeah. We should... Well, I mean, for me, this is the, the new cult overtones that we've seen throughout this, right? <clears throat> it's why everybody was talking about lesbian space witches uh, and all this other stuff. There are a lot of cult overtones that have appeared throughout this to me. Uh, as far as the cartosis mask, it's obviously a fetish, right? Uh, one, it's integral to Kamir's fighting style when it's first introduced. Uh, it is off-putting just by glancing at it, and it is something to obsess over, the sensory deprivation aspect of it. Um, the only other thing I have to say, uh, the reason I brought that up earlier is because it, this happens at the end of the episode, right? Uh, <laughs> intended Vader, and I put in quotation marks, overtones, because I guess it was supposed Jesus. to be an overtone, but it's pretty ham-fisted, right? I looked at my wife and I said, no, they didn't. Oh, yeah. No, they didn't. Yeah. No. no, they didn't. They went and there. I looked at her again. I said, yeah, they did. They sure the fuck did. I can't so, believe uh, they did that. What do you expect? I'll, I'll go ahead and throw in the description now. These are, uh, well, like I said, <laughs> it was confirmed in the show. It was confirmed in an, in an article. I think it was Entertainment Weekly or it might have been Collider. I know one of them was kind of a, a bash on on the fans. But uh, yeah. there was actually a poster that got put out. Let me uh, let me show you the poster Ooh, pictures. Yeah, picture, picture. Yeah. So this is uh, one of the posters that came out this week. So this confirmed yet something else. We can't call him the master anymore. They have confirmed the stranger. They the they're going to leave him with that name. That that's the stranger's helmet. It's the has stranger's been saber. House of the Dragon too. I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. So when you this is this is the poster that they came, they came out with. But if you flip it over, look how descriptive this sucker is. Whoa. With a wow. specialized cortosis gauntlet and a mask permanently twisted into a frightful grin, the stranger with a red bladed lightsaber appears as if out of thin air. Teleport still in. <laughs> while, <laughs> while some may call him a Sith, little is known that this dark sider who has been training May and Asaya in secret. Hiding his face from his pupil when needed, he has adopted the drifter and, oh, sorry, adopted the alias, alias now, Chimere, right. acting as a shiftless drifter and supplier with seemingly no cares at all other than he, his own amusements. Oh. And I was like, uh, okay. So th they, they came out with a poster that, again, confirmed it a third time. I'm like, really, guys? I mean, none of this information is, is in the show. And I think by the time I get to the end of the spiel, you'll go, really? And then I'll go, yeah, none of this information is in the show. Is it factual? Yeah, because because Leslie said it was. And I, I quote Leslie a bunch of times in, in, in one of the paragraphs, and you'll see. I mean, it's like, don't give it to the viewer. Don't give it to the person that's actually watching the show. Yeah, give no it doubt. to Entertainment Weekly. Give it to Collider. Oh, give it bro, to them. We've done more to further like what what's going on in the show than they have. Right. Like, you know, like the Cortosis, for example, you know, Plo Koon's yeah. grandmother. Yeah, it's my, it, it's so bad. <laughs> no coon. Anyway, I'm sorry. You got any more about the helmet you want to talk about or something like that? No, you know? I'm good. Okay. All right, let's hit it then. Uh, the Acolyte, Episode 5, Teach, Ford Slash Corrupt. It's an odd choice, but okay, Teach Corrupt. Air day was Tuesday, July the 2nd, 2024, at a 36-minute, 23-second runtime. Okay, great. Uh, the descriptor <laughs> on a distant island, unsettling questions about identity and destiny arise. That's IMDb. On now, a distant <laughs> island. I'm I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you where it hurts, Disney. This is this is going to hurt for me, and I I, uh, I I'm so happy that I that I'm getting to do it. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Right so the after a month of watching non-hetero entertainment, the wife and I have so much enjoyed this basic talk point. <clears throat> I'm going to read you what you put on the air for all the world to see. And, and, and I, I hope, I, I hope everybody understands, you know, that this, this is not me. This is them. This is they're They're putting this in their show. Here we go. 
As he begins to untie a belted knot from around his waist, she straightens up for a better look. He begins to undress, revealing a prominent scar on his well-toned back. Dropping his billowy-legged hakama pants, he steps forward with the sunlight accentuating his taut muscles. Kaimir, feels good, doesn't it? To hold one in your hand again. <laughs> Speaking to Osha, now holding his lightsaber, he gently takes hold of her arm, the red blade still throbbing right in front of his throat. Okay, that's it. That I is know your where that audio. came from, by yeah, the way. It's your that was audio the audio description. description. Yeah. Absolutely. That's your AD. That's for folks with visual impairments. They're getting a better show than we are. No I, doubt. I man. mean, it's it's insane. <laughs> then so, 50 shades of acolyte. Yeah, I mean, th- this is this blows this blows my mind. So I'm like, well, where, where, you know, where is, I know, I know where we're, God, we talked about it. The shirtless stuff with your, we, we talked about how it's going to the female version of, of Star Wars. We, we get it, you know, and I'm all there. And then I start thinking, well, where is she pulling this from? Where is this coming from? Because I haven't seen any original material yet and I have to date it. Right. So yeah. I, I date it. I go back in time and take a look at this. This is uh this is 20. Oh my God, this is HBO Max 2021 to 2023. OK, well, that fits. Voila. This is what we're getting. This is where we are. I was like, where are you getting this fan fiction from? This is HBO Max 2021 to 2023. And I'm like, OK, so somebody flipped the channel and said, oh, we can write about this. This is this is that kind of conversation that we need to have in our our show. And I, I'm well, thinking, really, you know, and I'm not even going to say what it is. But, you know, this show, this is a thing. This was a thing back then. I, do I know that it modified her decision? Well, my God, every other show from the time period has modified her decision. Could she have flipped the channel or oh, somebody yeah. in the writing room flipped this and saw oh, this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Definitely. This could have happened. So are we watching this? Probably. I mean, it, it, is it is it incredibly odd? No. I mean, this is this has happened, you know, but to me, it's it's and I'm not going to keep this up. No Man, way. Please but, but you but you get the you get the idea. You know, it's it's an audio descriptor. And I, I, I feel bad for the rest of us, you know, who didn't get quite the show. But uh, yeah. uh, OK, it, I love how the. Go, go I feel ahead. bad for the deaf people who didn't get to, you know, hear, hear Michael Myers say "baby" at, after that line. Right? Oh Lord, yes. I mean, it was. Oh, <laughs> man, you're gonna, you're gonna ruin people, man. <laughs> it's it's. I so mean, bad. I got more of that in the can. That's yeah. all the show is to me now. I, oh I my hear God. everything else that it comes from. Well, it, this is. I mean, this is not out of place. It's it's just odd to me because this is. I'm not going to say it again, but it's it's the age targeting requirement of Disney compared to the age. And I'm going to compare it. The age targeting requirement of HBO Max, which is, you know, <clears throat> House of the Dragon. Oh, man. Anyone? So, hey, hey listen, are, since wait, wait, you brought that up, we, can we I just left, say real quick? No, say it, say it. But listen, we have left a month of non-hetero entertainment. The week we leave non-hetero entertainment, we get this on the Acolyte, and feel free. What, what would you like to say about House of the Dragon, Sean? Well, you know, the big thing for these these Disney shows lately, and especially Acolyte, is strong female good, right? That's the big push, strong right. female. Well, I just watched the last episode of House of the Dragon and was sitting there thinking, look at all these beautifully strong females. Very strong and this show lead. is so great, and I don't feel like a woke, even one little woke sentence has ever crossed the pen for which the, or typewriter or computer they wrote it on. Uh, how come they can pull it off, yet when Disney does it, it feels like it's some kind of uh, decree that this is how you must live your life, and if you don't do it our way, then you're bad people. You know, I just don't understand that. But so it's clear that we can have strong females yeah. in TV shows. And we have had for years, uh, decades, guys, by the way, if you just go back and look at all the Star Treks and everything like that, um, Sorry, it's it. always been there and done well. So they're not, they're not reinventing the wheel. Uh, they're just being assholes in the way they do it. I, I suspect, I don't know. But. I have something to add. This is just a difference of, of quality, right? This is like, 
you, you want to write, you want to be a writer. So you write something that appeals to you and you happen to network with the right people and get your stuff on the screen. That's great. Good for you. Now, some people want to write because they look back at the history of it and, you know, they, they look back at the history of sin, right? And they want to do their own thing, but they, they hold reverence for things. So they may pay homage or, you know, they, they may do a callback to something, you know, but be respectful. And this, all I'm in, in Acolyte, all I'm seeing is basically kind of like, I think Joel mentioned this once, copy, edit, copy, paste, right? Yeah, well, it's rip off, rip off, rip off after rip off. Yeah. Yeah, and, and they do that in television it. everywhere, but she's doing it like uh, just without governing. I mean, without governance, she is just going roughshod. I hear you. House of the Dragon is different, though, because it's got people in place. They make it look easy because it is so well done, right? It's it's easy to dismiss what they do on uh, their shots, on their um, dragons, right? Like all the stuff that they've got going on. It's great, and it's easy to overlook what it's supposed to be done in, until you juxtapose it against this, I say. Yeah. Uh, All right. I will also add that there's enough male frontal nudity in that to make uh, Danny McBride take notice. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> All yeah. right. Uh, well, I mean, after after you understand that that's, well, <laughs> that's what the visually impaired got to hear. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Now I have I, I can't talk about the episode anymore because it, it gets weird. So I'm going to show you I'm going to show you I'm going to show you a picture and then I'm going to hit the highlights of what actually happened in this episode because we we don't get anything new in this episode. This was another filler episode. Uh, next episode, episode seven is is going to be our Rashomon episode. So we'll actually get the truthful part. Uh, episode seven. We're going to get the truth at that point. Uh, number eight is our finale. So uh, yes, w- what was the big Big deal about this uh, episode, and what, what was what was on Collider's mind, or what was on Entertainment Weekly's mind when they when they did these interviews? Let me show you what was on their mind. This is a this is a picture. I can't wait to see this one. Oh god, right. yeah, this is what was on their mind right here. Yeah. Any idea what she's doing? Take a gander. She's looking at his taut body. Uh-uh. Taking out his tight look lower. Body. She's looking lower. Yeah. Not talk body. <laughs> He's taking checking out his lightsaber. Yes, well, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. that's pretty. That's pretty close. Uh, uh, you, you know, I'll let you say. It. But the, <laughs> it's it's um, the article. I'm just going to hit highlights of, of her quotes from uh, from the article. This is from uh, Maggie. Maggie checking Lovitz. out his Manny. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, it's known as uh, like, uh, oh, and I don't. I don't even want to say this. Where they. The relationship is not called a relationship anymore, folks. It's called ship. That's the you know the the way that it's referred to now. So if you hear the word ship in the media, they mean relationship. Oh my god! Uh, All yeah, of you are older than millennials. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. So um, it's uh, uh, t- to make it more fan fiction. She wanted to copy Raylo, and I was like, really? You wanted to copy Raylo? So uh, the term she's going to go with that she's quoted to go with to Maggie over at uh, Collider is Oshamir. So Oshamir is our couple. And I was like, really? And and I didn't get couple vibes. I got I want to I want you to stare at my junk vibes, which is what I'm looking at on the screen. And it, it does happen in the episode. You can see it. But it's I got groomer vibes. Oh, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 a whole lot of welcome to the dark side. I made even, I made dinner for you. You know, did, did you all catch the Jackie and and OSHA reference that they were yeah. together? Where that do you think that's going? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, so a relationship is confirmed between Osha and Chimer by Headland. Uh, in this same article, Headland confirms the stranger name. Uh, Headland is saying that the relationship between Lo and Jin in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon was the influence in the writer's room. Okay. Uh, and I was like, OK, I mentioned uh, that. Yeah. Uh, Rashomon episode seven. Uh, there's a quote, and in the next episode, you're gonna see how far flung particular missions with Jedi are, and the lack of oversight. 
how far input. flung or how well hung? That's what no, I'm yeah, wondering. Right. No, it's how far flung. Oh, okay. I, I'm just giving you quotes as, as it went down. So I'm, I'm not reading you the, uh, the the novel novella that she put in there. You know, uh, oh, yes, yes, here, yeah, no here's trial. another quote. Here's another quote. Everybody's like, there's no fire in space. I'm like, I'm glad you're looking at that because there are some themes in here that would upset you. I was like, oh, God, OK, so she, she said it herself. So she's listening. Now, another quote, the power of two can mean a couple of different things. I would say primarily it means the relationship between two Sith. However, comma, I think there's a secondary meaning that will be revealed later in the story. There's only two episodes left and it's not going to be next episode. I don't think yeah. it's going to be the finale. All right. Here's the quote that you wanted, John. It's not act. Acto, that's A-H-C-H dash T-O, Acto. It's an uncharted planet that they haven't mapped yet. The Jedi haven't mapped yet. The, the actual planet is called Baldimnik. And this is a guess, but it's, it's a pretty good guess. The, 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 uh, she doesn't say Baldimnik. I'm saying Baldimnik. Uh, so this is me hitting, hitting a point that she'll probably put in an article between now and next week's episode. Yeah, just like our Cortosis thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be the same thing. So Thank Baldimnik is, is, is it. And I'm telling us everything. Yeah, Baldimnik yeah. Is, is a Star Wars uh, Legends novel. Called, and I got a picture. It's called. Oh, uh, Sackick. Yeah, it's called Darth Plagueis, and uh, that'll oh. that'll that'll learn you. So it's uh, it's in the first like uh, first chapter, I think, uh, of Darth Plagueis, and um, uh, it's a decent book. It's uh, James Lucino. Um, it's cool, and it's, it's not that bad. It's 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 before all this crazy stuff happened, so it's not that bad. It's a New York New York Times bestseller and everything, uh, but you will find that name of that island and its origins right there it's also in a couple other books but uh, you'll find it there first um nice so bald dimnik is, <laughs> is star wars uh darth plagueis star wars legends october 30th 2012 is when this came out so it's disney it's disney star wars so um, this further is pushing us towards the, the idea that he's plagueis and also too could be that that what he said about she goes you weren't a jedi he was a long time ago and then he's like but you know whatever she said and then he was like it was a very long time ago and i was like oh right. dude yeah you just gave it away i think because only Maybe. one person could do that probably yeah right. now the last little bit uh, is kind of me and kind of what the article says but she says uh manny he is very much the counter culture character in this show and when that's sure. and to me that struck uh homelander so that's Homelander. And then I was like, uh, uh oh. And so he's super powerful. He can wipe out everybody, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, and then now he's, uh, you know, uh, you know, now he now he's seducing, you know, seduction. I, mean, I, I read you that part. Uh, so, and she put in here, um, he's very much counter counterculture character in the show. So I love that everybody's focused on everything else. And I was like, oh, OK, so she didn't want the she didn't want the Homelander uh, politics to bleed over. And, and I get that uh, this this is this is Collider 7324 is when this came out. This is Maggie Lovett. And uh, in the article at, at some point, <laughs> man, I've learned a new terminology and, and I didn't understand what a lot of these terms meant. But I've, I now do. But thanks to Maggie, I have learned a new set of words. Thank you, Maggie. I appreciate it. Uh, the word is fem dash coded and I, I didn't I, I don't I, you know I don't have to say the words frumpy dumpy anymore or I don't have to say what have you done to this person she said film coded in reference to Manny that he you know got into the water and a, he jumped out of his black suit he got buck naked he jumped in the water he got out of the water he put on a white or, right. or a cream colored or whatever you want to yeah. call it thing so he's he's purified himself in the waters and he's jumped out right and now she's okay. Right. Yeah. She's taken off her her frumpy dumpy, whatever was left over or battle damaged or I think she was injured in, in the outfit prior and put on uh, May's outfit, which she describes as gray. She, she doesn't describe it as black. She describes it as gray in the article. And I'm like, OK, so she, she's got a role reversal. Then she's got these little, little cute little creatures on the island that no yeah, harm have come to them. Those. I know? got a question. How and, much did those cost and what were they oh, doing there other than to be ugly cute? Yeah, no, I, they were getting on my nerves with them. 
in, in any in any case, she goes on to talk about how he's soft spoken. He caresses her. He touches her. He's cooked. He's cooked dinner for her. Yeah. He's got a big vat of, of soup. soup. Let, me, let me make you some soup. And it's I'm like, got the communal uh, back to foot bath in her room. Oh, right? Oh yeah, it's 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 awesome. You know, I'm just so happy to see it all. But this all this stuff done to Manny is thin coated to make her. This is all the seduction of the dark side. The dark, seduction of the dark side is to take a dark side character and basically thin coat him. And I was like, okay, well, I've, I've learned a new word. Thank you, Maggie. And uh, and, and I'm, I'm sorry, guys, that's really it. The rest of it to me is, is oh, my God, do we really have to talk about how Saul, for the fifth time, oh, dude. Uh, you know, stops talking? Hoping. Do we really have to talk yeah. about all that? I was I hoping you would bring that up because but you go ahead. <laughs> I timed that one scene where they just stare at him for 40 freaking seconds. And I'm like, all right, time for the next scene. Moving on. I don't know. I listen, obviously they've chosen a time slot time for the each episode because they've yeah. been hitting it pretty right, yeah. dead on. And they're just filling. And I love JJ. I loved him in, in the Squid Game and I just love some about him. But this this is partly his fault because he's a little over the top with his facial expressions and his and his angst. Uh, but the main fault is whoever the director of this particular episode was uh, just not knowing when to move on and hanging on for too long. I mean, then there's the other stuff with him, uh, with Saul about uh, how does he not know? He even brings up, you know, uh, I didn't know. How could I not sense? I'm like, how could you not sense me right there right. in front of you? I right. had one of the butter knives and almost <laughs> stabbed you in the back with it. You know, she's right behind you, dude. This dude seems so lame, and I hate that that uh, an actor I like so much is getting such a lame role, man. Well, I mean, it, I will say I will agree it's a lame role, but of the characters that we have in the cast, oh, I mean, he yeah. is he yeah. is one of the ones that we we look to, right? And obviously, they're going to trample all over that. He is the bad guy in the end, right? Yes. Well, so I suspect Vanestra to be. A little Just more, a little sus, right? She's okay. So that scar on his back d does look like a bit of a, a whip, a lightsaber whip scar. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if she's not the one that gave it to him. Yeah, I wasn't going to go into it because uh, I, I was pretty upset uh, when, yeah, I was, when I well when I noticed that. Uh, and I told Brian about it. Uh, I just, uh, it's on my negative list, but the, uh, that's probably it. We're not going to get any more whip. I don't know that we'll get whip in, yeah. eight, in eight. We might get a little bit of whip, but uh, five whole seconds. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, literally it's four seconds in the trailer. The only yeah. the fifth second is her slicing up the bug. Right. Oh. So yeah, I'm like, it's also her, gra her, her force moving it. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you folks out there that are, that are sitting around. Yeah. Yeah. So you folks out there are sitting around going, well, I want to see the whip used. Well, watch the trailer. I'm yeah. not kidding. Watch the freaking trailer. You, yeah, that's why I wasn't going to bring it up. Ago. I was like, uh, okay. I mean, what are they thinking? What are they doing? I don't know. I can't, I can't tell you. Actually, I can't wait for the next entertainment weekly or collider article. So I can tell you what the hell just happened in the episode. Yeah, it's it's so stupid, but yeah, that was that was you know, we we pretty much hit all the the major points that needed to be hit. There's not a lot here, uh, as I said, I, the, I can find some excitement in just wanting to know what the hell's up with Manny's character. That's about it. Um, I just want to see this through to the end. But in a, in better hands, this could have been something a little a little better. I believe that I really do. Uh, if you are interested in watching this show, if you really are, and you, you, if you're going to deal with the dialogue level and the IQ lowering goodness that it really is, uh, you and I, I can vouch for this. You can watch episode one, episode two, episode seven, which we don't have yet, and episode eight, and you're done. Get it. The, yeah. the four episodes in the middle are a complete waste of time. 
your yeah, way. You just watch the recap. Go do something else with your day. Go watch something else. Enjoy anything else besides this. One, two, seven, and eight, and you're done. Because because two is our, I, I believe two was our Rash, Rashomon, wasn't that? Right. Was, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so two is Rashomon, seven is Rashomon. So you get the beginning and the end. You don't have to wait four episodes to right. to, to eat the meat. You know, I can't Good have call. any pudding. You can't have any pudding, freaks. You can't have any. You know, you got to do something else. So. Uh, all right, that's great. So one, two, seven, eight. I'm sorry, Brian. I I, I just had to say no, that. That's, that, that's, that's, sorry, that's good info. That is that's good the info. best thing you can possibly do if you're really right. going to skim this. All yeah. right, Brian, what you got, man? All right. Uh, first off, callback shot and the intro felt lazy. Oh, look, there's the tattoo, right? We all saw that, called it. Yeah. Uh, what they were doing was the parent trap. It was no. bad. Yeah. They didn't tell a story with the room. Why not? I don't know. Yeah, um, we called that parent trap thing. What last episode? Episode before? Yeah, yeah. everybody did, but nobody yeah. really talked about it. No, because it was so bad, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the pool thing. We had peeping OSHA. I I did like the the setup of the calm pool against juxtaposed against the violent ocean in the background. Yeah, I will say the arena vibes kind of threw me off on that whole scene. I don't know if anybody else got that, but you know, no. I don't um, know. There was bad animation. Uh, yeah, those little like, things you were talking about, the little uh, critters, man. Yeah. Just uh, I well, wanted... the ships too, right? Like there were there were a few. Oh, I'm glad you said that, dude. The cityscape that Who... they, they did two cityscapes. The first one was absolute crap, and the second one was like fine. This is I what it should be. Don't know who the designer is on this series, but I cannot stand the ships. They are so freaking ugly, man. I mean, just horrible. I don't know. I mean, it's the same kind of juvenile designs again. Like yeah, they're just they're ugh. they're they're based in my mind. This is me again. So <laughs> in my mind, they're based off of lifeboats and life rafts on <laughs> on major cruise ships, which are right. rounded like that, and they yeah. have a, a cap on them, and they basically look like a submarine that floats on top of the water. And they shut the thing. It's for major storm damage, and you got to get into the ocean. They're emergency use vehicles. It's what they are. And then they're they've got that exact shape and form. Yeah. And it's just like Ugh, you know. Yeah, it's really what bad, thinking? man. Like that little thing Saul backs his ship up to, and then the little wings come out. I'm like, it's like the worst kind of Winnebago. I mean, like the 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 Winnebago in Spaceballs was, right, was more yeah, aerodynamic better. looking, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Jesus, it's rough, man. I mean, I could I could sing if you want the love boat. Yeah. yeah. I mean, who knows what kind you. of episode we just had? <laughs> right. All right. So uh, yeah, we usually. Well, oh, I mean, I gotta going? throw out the big thing. All right. The big thing here is, I swear I'm psychic. I'm gonna give you guys a line. You tell me where it's from. It's only once you've lost everything that you're free to do anything. Tyler Durden, Fight Club. All right. Last week, I wanted to call it Fight Club. I see. I keep seeing lines like that, vibes like that. It's all around. Other than that, JJ has become Jedi Daddy. Oh, no, I, I, so long, I, my JP, bad. Thanks for all the fist. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> no, my bad, dude. The um, in and I didn't put it in there, but it's there. Uh, Headland says refers to JJ, uh, as soul, uh, as uh, uh, let me say it right, OSHA's dad. She yeah. refers to him as OSHA's dad, yeah, but in, he's in the right daddy, right? For everybody watching, I can't Get tell with Headland. He gives the disappointed face, he gives the talk. It wouldn't right. surprise me if he is actually their dad. It, it would not surprise me whatsoever right. at all if that's what she wrote. That probably, yeah, that would be that would be better actually. <laughs> I would think. But uh, yeah, so let's give our no stars. <laughs> we haven't given any <laughs> half stars. <laughs> Brian, you want to kick it off? Uh, no, let me hear your guys' thoughts. Cause I, I don't think I'm going to give it oh, zero stars, but I haven't decided yet. You, you go, boy. Go ahead, <laughs> I'm, I'm just get, get that, that big O for me. Yeah, big O for you. Cool. Uh, I'm going to give it a half star just because I want to still find out what's going on. So, uh, I'm curious about the master, the, the, the stranger, whatever the fuck he's called. And, uh, yeah, I'll give it a half star. I don't know. I'd like to say I give it a a star, but yeah, I'm going to have to go a half as well. They gave me a little bit, uh, you know, I just half a star. Sure. Yeah, it's bad. (laughs) It's just bad. I'm just ready for the last two episodes, but uh, yeah, so there it is, guys. I mean, that's 
that's the bulk of it in a nutshell. So hopefully we'll get these, uh, what, we got two episodes left. So the Rashomon next episode. Um, guys, be on the lookout. Yeah. We uh, have some uh, little maybe extra episode dropping in the next few days. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, remember, as always, Brian, Joel, and I will see you on the flip side. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a good one, everybody. Yeah. Be excellent to each other, y'all. Time for your retcon. Yeah! <laughs>